Get the highest rated local weather app from the App Store today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Joe Bird. Well, another cloudy day across the tri-state. Is that not to seem to be the pattern? Of course, that's kind of typical winter weather for you as well. And we've had a few flakes flying across the area today. Not too terribly many. And in fact, the bigger ones we had were up towards our towards our kind of east and northeast as well, up towards you know, the Jasper area or towards Perry County as well. No flakes flying, though, this evening, as you see here on our tower camera network. Everything all quiet this evening and a little on the damp side. You can kind of see some of the wet roads and in, in the lenses right now. You can kind of see, you know, Court Street here, Riverside Drive, maybe hard to see, but it's a little on the damp side. Smothers Park, a little damp there as well. It's just been a little bit of snow, just a little bit of drops of rain here or there and you can kind of see in our lens our superior ag camera lens on top of Deacon's Gateway it's got just a couple of drops there on it nothing too major though just uh, a typical winter day right when there's some precipitation in the air in Evansville here we are 36 degrees under a mostly cloudy sky and lots of green for the weather bars but as we get into the overnight hours we got a small chance of seeing just a little bit of snow arrive in the area not going to be a big deal by any means but it, you could in some parts of the tri-state Wake on up to just a little bit of snow uh, tomorrow morning, a little dusting, if you will, on the uh, surface of the grasses and maybe on your cars if you leave your car outside. Still kind of breezy, west wind there at 9 miles per hour. Okay, temperature-wise, lots of 36 as this even. Check it out. Evansville, Henderson, Morganfield, Owensboro, Carmi, Flora, any more? Don't miss anybody. Nope, says our 36 is right there. Tell City and Santa Claus at 35. So we're all still above freezing. French Lick, though, over in Orange County, uh, right there at the freezing mark. And I do expect this to go below freezing tonight, but it's going to take a while to get there because the clouds kind of act like a blanket, if you will, and they let temperatures slowly begin to fall, uh, not just plummet if you did, if you had no uh, clouds with us at all. So here's what's going on. I've really pumped up the power on live first warning Doppler to kind of see if I can find anything out there. And what you see here down in Davis County, right there along I-165, over towards Hartford, Beaver Dam, Calhoun, uh, Sacramento, and northern part there of Hopkins County, uh, it could be a little light rain, maybe a few flakes, but keep in mind, this is very light, so it could be in the upper levels of the atmosphere, and it would evaporate possibly before getting down to the surface. But even then, you can see there's really nothing to talk about this evening, and an isolated snow shower here or there tonight cannot be ruled out, but our chances will be arriving really overnight tonight. So future tracker right now, you can see it's actually kind of overplaying the snow that we could be seeing uh, here in less than an hour, but nonetheless, we could see a few isolated uh, snow showers overnight tonight that could put a little dusting on the ground for you. Here we are, Sunday morning. Temperatures there, it'll be starting the day in the lower 30s. So it's going to be a chilly one tomorrow morning. Isolated snow showers once again for tomorrow afternoon. A light dusting at best, nothing too major. I don't think it's going to be anything like we saw yesterday where we had about half an inch officially in Evansville, which, by the way, ended that 431-day streak of not having any measurable snow in Evansville. That is gone. That record, I don't know if it was a record, I shouldn't say that. Uh, that streak, if you will, it is gone. Snow showers coming to an end tomorrow night, but we will keep the clouds. Monday itself is looking very cloudy uh, and dry overall. There's a couple of models that put a couple of drops of rain out there for Monday. Future Tracker is not excited about that by any means. Where Future Tracker does differ is Monday night into Tuesday. Watch this. There's really nothing happening. In fact, it wants to bring some clearing in here Monday night into Tuesday. Other models keep the clouds here and bring in a possible mix for Tuesday morning. So you're going to want to be sure to tune in to Ron for that to kind of see exactly uh, what's going on when you wake up on Tuesday morning. Otherwise, temperatures highs tomorrow in the mid-30s. We go to upper 30s on Monday and pretty good cloud coverage there for our Tuesday 40s though make a return and the 40s also back in the forecast for Wednesday with partly cloudy skies and as for Thursday we'll watch that to kind of see what's going to happen the morning low 36 looks like a cold rain but just a small fluctuation could make that a mix or just an even colder rain